All right, so today, here's what we're talking about. We're talking about uh, content atomization. If you're unfamiliar with the concept of content atomization, it is the idea of taking one single piece of content and transforming it into a multitude of different pieces of content. So the plan today is I'm gonna be creating a video talking to you a little bit about how content atomization works and why it's a really efficient way for you to be creating content, marketing, and promoting yourself. Let's, let's take you through it. So the primary purpose of content atomization is that we spend an inordinate amount of our time when it comes to creating content on conceptualizing what the content's gonna be about and then creating that initial single piece of content. So that could be a video, it could be a podcast, it could be a blog post, really any, when I say content, I mean a, a big piece of content. I don't mean like a social graphic uh, or something like that. And, and some people do put a tremendous amount of time into their TikToks and their Instagram reels and things like that. But I'm talking more about uh, bigger, more substantial pieces of content, long form blog posts, uh, podcasts that are longer than 20 minutes, um, blog uh, or uh, videos that tend to be about uh, five minutes to 10 minutes uh, or sometimes even longer. And then the idea is that you're able to take that content and turn it into uh, smaller pieces of content, thereby maximizing the impact of that piece of content and giving you multiple assets to be able to promote all across your different promotional channels. All right, so let's walk through the process now. The first step in the process is, uh, at least in this particular model I'm going to show you, is we're going to start with a video. That video is probably going to be longer than 10 minutes because you're going to want it to be long enough that you can chop it up into smaller pieces. So in the planning process for this 10 minute or longer video, you'll probably want to think about breaking it up into at least two sections, if not more. So let's say it's a 10 minute video. If you had five sections, you'd have two five minute sections. Now. We'll, uh, we'll cover later how that could work, but the idea is just you wanna think about natural breakpoints in the video so that it's not one big long 10 minute video, but rather a 10 minute video that's broken up into some smaller parts. Now the first thing you'd probably wanna do with a lengthy video like this is extract the audio and turn it into a podcast. So I'm gonna do that with this video. Uh, if you click the link in the description of this video, you'll be able to take to the blog post that has all the different assets that I'm creating from this video, uh, but you'll be able to see the podcast as one of those assets. So we've extracted the audio now and we've created a podcast. We've got a video and we've got a podcast from one piece of uh, content, we've now got two. We're also gonna take that video and again, remember I, I mentioned that you should be outlining it in a way where it's broken up into sections. Well, you're gonna chop it up into smaller pieces. So let's say that 10 minute video becomes two five minute videos, or perhaps you just take out some clips and you make two two minute videos. So in this case, I'm just gonna say chop it up into two smaller videos. Uh, that's what I'll be doing with this video. And uh, so now we've got the video, we've got a podcast, and we've got two shorter videos. And from those two shorter videos, or you could pull it from the larger video, you're gonna extract some of that audio and you're gonna either take uh, an image and overlay it or use some video, and you're gonna create what's known as an audiogram. There's a site you can use called Headliner, it's headliner.app. And on that site, you're able to upload some images, take a little clip of audio, overlay the, uh, the audio on top of the, um, the image or on top of a, a small motion uh, graphic or video, and you're gonna put a little waveform on top of it so uh, people will see it as you're talking. Again, this is another asset you'll be able to see if you click the link in the description of this video. So audiograms are really good because you can put them on Instagram, on Twitter, you can put them on Facebook, on LinkedIn. They're just short video clips, usually 30 to 60 seconds long, that are uh, you know, short little, they're, they're kind of like a mixture of a static image and a moving image. All right, so now we've got the video, we've got the podcast, two shorter videos and two audiograms. Now from that um, original video, we can also transcribe it. We can go to somewhere like rev.com and for I think it's like $1.50 a minute or something, they'll transcribe the audio in your video. You can upload either the audio clip or the video and they'll transcribe it. You're then able to clean that up and you're gonna create a, a, a blog post out of it. You're gonna add some headings, you're gonna add some formatting, maybe some bullets. Uh, you could drop in some graphics. You could even drop in the video you're creating here, uh, which is what I'm gonna be doing with my blog post. Again, click the link in the description. You'll see all of the atomized pieces of content from this one video. Okay, so now you've got uh, the video, you've got a podcast, you've got two shorter videos, two audiograms, you've got a blog post. Now from that blog post, we can just strip out a couple status updates and we'll be able to share those on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, anywhere where we're sharing any of these little assets, we can use these status updates so we don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. Okay, so now we've got three different status updates on top of everything else we've done. Now from the original video, another thing you could do is just capture a few screenshots from that video and pull out some of the quotes that you have or even using those status updates and you can overlay those quotes uh, or the things you've put in the status updates on top of those images. Now you've got static images you can use on Instagram, you can use them on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, wherever you put them. 
Okay, so now you've got three images with text over top uh, on top of everything. So if you're counting at home, that's 13 different assets from one video. Um, now we're going to take that blog post and maybe some of the images from the video and other things, and we're going to create a slide deck from it. So you're going to upload that slide deck uh, to SlideShare. Uh, you can create the slide deck in Canva. You can create it in PowerPoint, and Keynote is my preference. Um, but however you do it, you're now taking the written form and you're going to turn it into a slideshow. And another thing you're going to be able to do with that once you have the slides, what comes next, and this is a step I'm going to skip uh, because I don't really feel like doing it, but you could actually narrate over top of those slides and turn that into a separate video that's entirely different from the original video. It'll be shorter in form and you can share it in other places. And then finally, once you have all of these things done, you're able to take the blog post that you've created uh, and any of the other assets and you're able to bundle them together and put them into an email newsletter and possibly even move them into one of your email uh, drip sequences or something like that. So bottom line is there's a lot of different ways that you can take one piece of content and transform it into many, many others. And in this case, we turned one piece of content and you know, remember I'm, I'm not gonna do the video voiceover with the slides, uh, but I've turned it into uh, 14 additional pieces of content on top of the original video. So that's, you know, that's one way that you could do this whole thing um, is to take one piece of content and then strip it into multiple pieces of content. You can start with a blog post and then you could narrate the blog post. That becomes a video. You could read it and that becomes the podcast. You could take clips of it and make it status updates. The idea is not that there's a prescriptive way to do this. I'm just giving examples of how it could work. The idea is that you're taking one piece of content and you're going to chop it up into multiple pieces of content. And that gives you the ability to distribute it across all these different channels that you might want to use it on. So it's a really, really efficient way way to utilize your time and content. And the thing is, is that I remember Derek Halpern from Social Triggers once uh, posted something around the Pareto principle that essentially most people will spend 80% of their time creating content, 20% promoting it. And he suggested that you flip that. You spend 20% of your time creating the content and 80% promoting it. Uh, and that can sound like a lot, but imagine you put one hour into a piece of content and you then spend four hours promoting it. Think how much more attention that content's most likely going to get than if you were to spend one hour creating it and then you only spent say 20 minutes or 15 minutes uh, promoting it. So you really want to uh, probably shift that a little bit. I've noticed that when I do spend more time on my promotion, my content gets more clicks. This is what content atomization looks like. But essentially this is just a, a meant to be an overview for people who don't know what content atomization is. I wanted to create a piece of content so that you could see what it is and I want to be able to provide all of the different examples of ways that the content could be chopped up so that you can actually look at, hey, from this one idea of talking about content atomization, he atomized the content into 14 different pieces of content. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it if you're watching live, if you're watching after the fact, or if you're consuming one of the smaller pieces of content that uh, is going to be put together from this. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you tuning in. Happy Easter, everybody. I'm filming this on a Sunday, uh, just in a, a little window of time where my daughter is eating. So I figured it was a good time to do it. Uh, take care. Love you all.